الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا Allah 
says, We will not place a body over any soul except that which you can board. Allah Akbar. Except that which he can bear. Except that which it has capacity for. We will not saddle any soul with any responsibility except that which, inshallah, you will be able to deliver. We have records of every single one of you that speaks true about inner and outer of every single human being. Allah Akbar. No one shall be treated in a just way or in an unjust manner. No one will be maltreated by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Scholars of Tafsir said, this particular verse is a new that Allah gives to every mankind, especially the Muslim, that every legitimate, uh, every legal means, anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes love for in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants Muslim to have a new and then the so-called. Anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala legalizes as salat, as zakat, as hajj, as Ramadan, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives Muslim a way forward and a way back. When it comes to Ramadan, for instance, La yuka nifullahu nafsan illa us'ala. Allah has not placed a body over his soul except that which it can be at. Meaning, those who are suffering from chronic ulcer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not make Ramadan compulsion for them. Those who do not have money, Allah did not make zakat compulsion for them. Those who do not have the means, Allah did not make hajj compulsion on them. La you can live Allah who loves them in La Usaha. When it comes to Ramadan, those who cannot fast it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given an alternative. Fa'idda tumin ayyamin uha. For those who are expected to regain from their own sickness. For those who are on journey during the month of Ramadan, after Ramadan, they should bring forth the number of days they, they miss in the month of Ramadan. Now, the same way with Zakat, the same way with every part of Act of Ibadah. La yuka nifullahu nafsan illa usaha. The Sahaba Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As you make mention, one of them came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and says, the well with that, people of affluence, whom Allah has given money among the Sahaba, they have packed all the rewards of Allah SWT. The rewards that other people could get, they have packed everything. A Prophet told him, No. Every subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, that those who don't have money, they do that, they have their own similar rewards of sadaqah. If those who have the money give zakat, those who do not have, they read Quran more and more, they do a salam ala nabi more and more, they do more of his prefer, more and more, they also tap their own realm of Allah SWT, even though they are not rich. La yuka lifu Allah nafsad illa usaha. For a Muslim, Allah SWT has created us into different capacity in terms of status, in terms of our human, being a human. You may mention Surah to Nisa, Thank you, human, to have a lot of human Nisa, Mahna, Allah said, marry from among women, those you admire, Matna, you can marry to, Wafulata or three, Waruba or four. Allah says, for if you fear that you can't be just among the four, among the three, between the two, then Fawahida, marry one. Or the one who's your hand right, hand side can possess. Now in this regard, La yuka nifu Allahu nafsa illa usaha. Allah did not make it compulsory. That one must marry three if he doesn't have the capacity. One must marry four if he doesn't have the capacity. No. 
They have the capacity go to four. That's the extreme. Allah Akbar or maximum. If you have less, marry three. Less, two. If you cannot do justice among them, not do justice of sleeping alone. No. You can't buy Kaya Salah for four. You can only afford one. Don't go for two or three, four. You can only provide one accommodation and with little source of income, then marry one. But for those who have the affluence, Allah SWT make it easier for them to marry four. Then this is concept of justice between human beings as Allah SWT explains. This is from Nikah. And it goes around every other thing, even about our mundane life. Allah has not placed anybody over every single one of us except that the one we can carry. Then, in another way, some people overburden themselves over that which is not even relevant. Something that is not relevant. I want to satisfy this one, I want to do this, do that, I want to do this, do this. At the end of the day, if they fall back, they won't be able to do anyone. Now, Allah SWT refers to this verse in Surah 2, Ali Surah. We have record that speaks truth about everybody. What are those records? Even Allah SWT has given us the opportunity that everything you want to do, don't go extreme except the one you can discharge. Now, if it is good thing to do, Allah SWT has a record for it. If it is bad, it is well kept by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah says, Wakulla in Salim. Wakulla in Salim. Right from today, while we are on the surface of the earth, whoever follows the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَإِنَّ مَا يَحْدَدِ لِنَفْسِ That person chooses to follow the guidance and then it will be a penitial for him. It will witness for him. It will help him on the day of the hour. 
Wamandona, whoever leaves himself astray by following the injuries of Shindon, but in the mind of Dimla Aleha, that person will also have nobody to blame but himself. Wala Tezin was zero two. No single one among you will carry the errors or luggage for another person. Allah SWT will not ask you over any anomaly or any misdeed or inaction of another person until he am sir, until and was near with the Easter. Why will you now be given another person say, no, everybody will carry his own luggage? Wala Tezinwa zero two. No one will carry another person's sins or anomaly or maltreatment or evil things. Allah will put the mirror. Allah says, We are not wicked. We are not wicked. We don't make our punishment over our servants, except that we have exhausted all the channels of communication to them. We are not We have exhausted all the channels of communication to them. We will not punish any set of people. Either come, that those who have come or those who are yet to come. We will not punish anybody except that we have sent a messenger and a message to that person or to those set of people. Allah SWT has said this. Allah Muhammad the mirror. Ma kunna ma'atimin hatta nabata rasulah. This is vindicating. As far as the Prophet SAW, some of you that the, 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 the Kufar believe that he just chose some people that he wanted to be in agenda if there was any agenda at all. Because Allah says, Inna talata hadima habakta, walatin Allah ya hadima yasha. They translated the meaning in the opposite way. The Prophet ﷺ will just hand peace on people and leave the rest. No. Even Prophet ﷺ cannot guarantee anybody true guidance. Allah wa akbar to He cannot guarantee anybody. He cannot guarantee anybody. He will only deliver the message of Allah and then follow it up with more message. Our more messaging, following it up by advising the people concerned. And Allah made it clear, Inna kalata hadi man ahbabta. You are not the one. You, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa indeed, you cannot guide whoever you wish. Walakinna Allah ya hadi man yasha. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has the authority over guidance and he gives to whoever you wish. May Allah never take his guidance away from all of us. This verse is Libra. And it is what you sow that you will live before Allah. It is what I push for that I will get on the day of the hour. Ladaina kitab niyantu kubilha. Some scholars of the system, Allah is referring to what he has given to the angel. Maya ifidu min qawlin illa ladaifi rakibun atin. That human being will not alter, alter any statement. Nothing will come out from his mouth of a statement, either good or bad, either positive or negative. Except that, as at the time he's dropping that, Rocky Marti has already taken measurement. They have already measured, they have already documented it. Meaning, everything about our life, there is no anywhere we can hide from Allah SWT. Who are Allah Allah knows the unseen. What is seeking? It is not seeking before Allah SWT. Even somebody, when the time of death comes to everyone, that death will locate that person wherever he is on the surface of the earth. Even if they are traveling to the space, Malak will not go and bring him from that space. If they are going to the ground, underground, to go and excavate or for mining, if time of death has come to that person, Malak will not locate him and bring him forth. Now, whatsoever, in the deep darkness, whatever you and I do, Allah SWT sees everything because He has the angels and man that go with us like bodyguards. Everywhere we are, anywhere we are, whatever we do, it is documented. For that reason, Allah challenged the Kufa that there is no way they can run to. If I thought they can run, they should move out of the land of Allah and go to another land if they are rich. They should travel. If they refuse to listen to the word of Allah SWT, they should travel and move. They should deny Allah SWT favor in totality. Not only the Quran, not only the Kenan Shahada. They should deny the word and go to another heaven if they will find. They should go to another land if they will find. They want to bring everything together. Allah SWT says, 
وهم لا يظلمون نوز زندن هو اللي بيجي ده من عمل صالحا فلنفسه ومن اساء فعليها وما ربك بظلام للعبيد your lord will not cheat any of his servants after all he doesn't have any family member that because of his own family member that he had reserved spaces for an alternative to fall down that is why he is now drinking or draining or taking off from our from our words no تعالى الله عما يشركون الله سبحانه وتعالى اسفع ابدا الله سبحانه وتعالى كنتيني Now about the Mu'minun, Allah comes back to the issue he was treating above about the disbelievers and idolaters. Allah says, "Banu kulubu fi gomratin min hada." Their hearts have been covered with anomalies, with confusion. Their hearts have been covered with confusion. What confusions? Allah says, "Has min hada from this Quran against the Quran, against the Messenger, and against the Messenger." Imam Ibn Kathir Ali Rahmatu Min Allah says, Min Hada here, Allah is referring to Quran because that's the message Allah gave to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That anything that will make them to listen to Quran, they will avoid that thing completely. Just the way they did to Noah Alaihi Salaam, Ja'alu Asabi'ahum, Fi Adadihum, Wastam Shaw Fiyabahum, Allah Akbar. In order not to listen to Noah, they ran away. No one followed them. They ran away, he followed them. As he followed them, and he was still shouting, whether he will obey or he will not obey, just wait and, and, and listen first. Either he will accept or he will disapprove, just listen to me first. They refused, he followed them. And as he was shouting, they tried to dig into their ears all the fingers. Allah, Allah, Allah. That is Balaga. Out of their hatred for the message of Allah, instead of putting one finger inside, the second one, the left side, not to listen to the word of Allah, they put Jahanu Asabi and Allah says they put all their fingers just to block it from hearing the Quran, from hearing the word of Noah Ali Salam. Allah Akbar the Hero. Allah SWT says, Wala huma amalu men do nidali. Apart from the disbelief, apart from turning down our messenger, apart from uh, deceiving themselves. Apart from also maltreating the messenger, Lauma Amaru mean doing that. There are other words of deeds, even this in their hearts. Even though we forgive them of all they have done in the past, if they are to continue to steal him, they will still do a lot of evils as well for Allah. Allah SWT has said, with that, whom Laha Amilun, they were created for evil, they will continue to be evil. Allah Akbar. May Allah SWT remove evils from our hearts. For the Kufar, Allah SWT has said, as they continue, Kulubuhum, Tiyagamura, their hearts are seen of, with confusion. Why confusion? The same Prophet of Allah, Sebi Hijilna, he has an element of madness. The same Prophet of Allah, with confusion, they said, it's not madness again. He is not just worthy to be a Prophet. Why? Because he goes to the same market we go to. That's just the reason. Another confusion, they said, why will Allah even send a human being to them as a messenger? There's no any superiority. He would have sent an angel. If Allah had sent an angel, it would have been easier for them. They would follow the angel because they are not from the same species. But human being, after all, this prophet now is one is taller than him from among the human beings. Without look at the Lord, look down upon him. Another confusion is that, okay, let us see Allah with our eyes go to him. And they told Musa alayhi salam, before we obey, Ali in Allah, Jahara, want to see Allah, face to face. Let us see the, the God who want us to, 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 to worship. This is another confusion. Another confusion, as Musa alayhi salam, Allah Akbar, was preaching, some of them took to, to their heel that no, we wouldn't even listen to this person. After all, he doesn't even have capacity to control his house. The wife did not follow him. The only child, Allah SWT made reference to the Quran, did not follow him. Then, what guarantee do we have that he is in, is in himself? He knows what he's doing. So, all this together, Allah SWT has said, Kufar will ever remain Kufar because he could be Maradun. Fazadahumullahu Maradun. There are diseases inside their hearts. 
If you try to remove one disease, more than 10 will replace the one you have removed. Because they have prepared their minds. They have the mindset against every prophet of Allah for the For the fact that this prophet was not coming with affluence. If you had brought some money on the table that let us share, now let's do the hour. Some people would follow the hour, leaders there is money. Some would choose the kind of imam they listen to, the kind of picture they listen to. What kind of car does he ride? If he's riding Lamborghini, people they will listen to him. But it's that man, he's not going to beg us for money. He's not going to talk about that car, they will follow that one. He has Lamborghini, they will listen. He has a land cruiser, people will follow that one. Because he will not talk about Zaka. And if he talks about Zaka, they know that he is far above the Zaka. He's only talking on because Allah wants to tell you. You prefer one of the things, interest, when they wanted to keep your sleep, invite Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to bring him to their own fold. They said, stop saying all this now and now and Stop saying it. Stop saying there is God somewhere. Sit down. You need money, we'll give you money. You need power, we we'll give you power. You need affluence, we we'll give you. You need connection, we we'll connect you. But stop saying that one, God, no. We have not had this from our forefathers. So anybody who is ready to truncate the message, to give it for money, like the Shahudiyah, in Haman and Kalila, people will follow that, that one. And that's the case of the Kufar. Allah says, they are half are covered against the Quran. They don't want to listen to the Quran. They don't want to listen to the Quran. They don't want to listen to the Quran. They don't, to to Quran at all. they don't talk about Quran. There are other evils that are not manifest. You only preach against what you see them doing. You don't know there are other evils they do when they leave you. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Some will preach this thing. At the end of the day, they will go back and do another thing. Some will say no. You see, this is what he's saying. Who knows? Maybe you too have something in your heart. You have one babala or somewhere. And he said, you should be saying, la ilaha illa 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 la Forgetting that that is what is holding forth for the dunya itself, the akhirah, the heavens and the earth. Without la ilaha illallah, nothing will exist, nothing ever will stay and exist on the surface of earth. In fact, kumfa kumfa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sustains itself from la ilaha illallah. Hadith Sahih on the gate, ban of Al Jannah, what is written there is La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is the essence of what we do in Dunya? Fasting, reading Quran, doing Tarawi, Qiyamul Lil. It's not for people of Al Jannah. Now Al Jannah, the symbol is La ilaha illallah for you to get Al Jannah. Meaning, everything about our Tawheed, we should not downplay it. We stand by Allah SWT as Allah says, Kul, La yusibana. إلا ما كتب الله لا يصيبنا 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 إلا 
Tell you, you are mad. Don't say anything. Stop for a Now, in this verse, until we see some of their commandants, some of their affluence, some of their riches. Once we see those one with our punishment, then they start lamenting. Yet, they will not be invoking Allah from Allah even prophecy, unconditionally. Allah said the despite of the system, if Allah put Allah as he had sent down the messengers, Allah will be looking at them. Go and deliver the message. That is why even the messengers, they will have their own share of maltreatment. Allah will still be looking at them. Because in Dunya, land you see by now, Allah will be looking at them. And whatsoever Allah said, all of us, in one way or the other, la na bin wa na kum bishayim min al khawf wa nujura wa na kusu min al amwal wa lamu sultamarat wa bashiri sabirin. Allah only wants us to exercise vision. Nobody will be in this world and will not have any either one or two minor or major except that a soul a soul will be tested by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Part of the shares of the Ambiya Musul is that they were rejected, they were maltreated, some of them were massively beaten. Allah Akbar. Like Yahya and Zakaria, the father and son. The scholars of the city, two of them were executed one day in one the same day. One was cut off inside the teeth. Allah Akbar to him. And Allah Subhanahu wa did not try him. Just the way we talk of Noah alayhi salam who was beaten. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's what we will do. It's unforgettable incident in the history of Islam. La ilaha illa Allah, subhanahu alayhi wa sallam, the good to the Lord. Abba ko subhiya to Allah, the good and the good of order. The third Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had passed on. Rolling inside his before blood. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, So we have been to challenge, many challenge, stand by Allah subhanahu wa sallam. Allah said the Kufar will continue their windows until we arrest their masters. Those who have given luxurious life, affluence, because it is only when a big big dies in a community that you feel people, you see them, they feel it. If any minister dies, you feel it. May Allah SWT forgive all our departed souls. Like during the COVID-19, the first casualty in Abuja here, I think a retired man from NNPC. They are not going to my to for that. That made some big weeks, rich people, to know that I have said that COVID-19 is real. Then, if only shoemakers, a carpenter, that is the community, people will feel like normal. Likewise, even malams. If a shape dies because of followership, people will feel it. Then, people do this thing about this and that, for long with the other island. We don't pray for any evil, but like flood. The flood should enter government house. Just like last year. In fact, fire, our former president, uh, Jonathan, said he, that he was dismissed. Then government now sent some people from FEMA, from the NEMA to go and check what was happening. But while the Dalla Towers were dying in uh, Jindawa and other places, they didn't go on time. It was under reported. But when it affected a big person, that's the same way Allah SWT says, Akhtar, Ida Akhtar Mutrafim. Until we arrest, we seize their commander, their masters, the people of affluence. Then, Faida Rum, Yacharum, then they start lamenting, calling on Allah. Hey, hey, oh, Allah SWT says, La Tadja Arun, La Tadja Arun, Change our decision. Lapeja la to Sarun. never sees his message from all the world. Allah confirmed today, onward, in Nakumina la to Sarun, you shall never be helped by us, Allah SWT. Now, either lower, the medium, those are the higher authority, once the Arab of Allah SWT descends, it contains all, consumes everybody. What the provision now to see why the land of the world is not a good thing. Allah says, Fear calamity. Don't look for it. 
fear violence, don't call for war. Because not only those who ignite the fire will be consumed by that fire. Don't call for war. Don't look for fitna. Once fitna is sleeping, just leave it pass by. Go on your own. Don't cause trouble. Don't look for it. And when people are messing up the land, they are causing corruption. Zina is apparent. Cheating is all over. Then indecent dress is all over. Then you should speak up. Don't think wise. Because when the repercussion of that thing comes, it will affect even those who are going to have a little step forward. Like what happened in Turkey. As Allah made mention, like in the Kitab, we have people in the heart. Only Allah knows those who are not praying. There were those who were not praying, there were those who were praying. As at the time the earthquake happened, perhaps some were even doing the Kitab. Just like the people of Nuh Ali Salam, just like the people of Nuh Ali Salam, that when Azab comes, a lot of people will still have their own share, no matter how little. For old people to be running helter skelter, there's a problem. Somebody who someone will have to carry in the car, but at some point, these the young ones will run, the old people will run, and you can see sometimes man, even the old ones will outrun a minor or the youth. When it comes to calamity, may Allah SWT never ever bring calamity to all of us. In the word of Allah SWT, Allah SWT is lavity of the young. It is late already. Don't lament. That is just like medicine after death. Once the prophet of Allah had come, they have told you what to do to them. You are not know what the prophet have told us. We know all the truths of Allah. We try our best. That is why Allah knows you cannot do it all. You can't finish everything about the violence of Allah from the army. Then you don't try your best to run away, especially al tabayyum mental shirk, mental sins. These are source of hunger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to all the need that you now change the style, the ecosystem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for mankind is that a man will marry a woman and then they come together under this for the realm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> As Allah SWT instructs, you drop that of Allah SWT and change to that of Shaitan. By a man by a man, a woman by a woman, Allah says, You are a set of people that are ignorant. Musufun, you are extravagant in everything. We give you Nehima, which upon you cannot find another better Nehima. You cannot find another better Nehima than to have a righteous wife. That's the beginning. And that was why Prophet Solomon says, Adunia Mata. Wakaru Mata Iha al Mara to Salih. This dunya is enjoyment, full of enjoyment. But the best of all the enjoyment in dunya is to have a righteous wife. If you have a righteous wife, every other thing you do, inshallah, you will be on the track. Sent by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But if by adventure or by mistake, one marries from a bear panel, or from a party, or from nowhere where they are doing swim, swim pool or whatever, you will have in self blame. They are not going to correct our affairs. In this land, they are really young. Stop lamenting. It is not meant for today. Now they are really young. Stop groaning. The messages have been brought to you. The messengers are, were sent to you, but you turn them down. Don't expect any help from us. No virtue, no any help, no any rhyme. Mercy of Allah SWT will choose you. God can tie at you. The reason why you should not expect any help today from Allah is that God cannot ayati tutila alaykum. My verses, Al Quran, was recited for you. All the Jews of Allah were brought to you. 
All the doings of Allah were adequately explained to you. But Allah SWT says, But you turned back against Allah and you took to your hand. You went with your own whips and compass. You only to anyone that was better for your own personal thought. Like some Muslims, in some verses they will take some. Some they say, no, this, this one is meant for Sahabim, Sahabim, Muhammad, Sahabim, Muhammad, Ah, and Quran is meant for all the women of Prophet Muhammad, Sahabim, Muhammad, Sahabim. That is why Allah has not changed the concept of marriage as you mentioned. The same way the Sahaba got married, the same way Allah wanted to get married. The same way to read Quran, the same way the Sahaba read, the same way we are expected to read. The same way the Sahaba fasted the Ramadan, is the same way we are expected to do. The Sahaba did Tarawih, we are expected to do. The Sahaba gave Sadaqa, we are expected to give. The Sahaba said to Islam being a nurse, we are expected to do the same. The Sahaba were prevented, prohibited from telling lies, we are also foretold not to tell lies. The Sahaba were prevented from Zina, they did it. We are expected not to also go closer to Zina. The Sahaba, the same way, the same life, because it is the same messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa whom Allah sent to the Sahaba, is our messenger too. The same Quran we he brought to them, the same Quran we are having to them. The same way we are reading it today. Allahu Akbar the Lord. So, why do we now attach some certain act of ibadah that no, we no, don't go there, don't go to that route. This one was meant for the Sahaba. No, we can say they did it best. Let us remove them. In this case, la qadikanat ayat yudhila alaykum. As you make mention, it's not to the Isra. Ma kunna mu'abdibin hadda na ba'atha rasoola who will not make, who will not punish any of our servants until we have sent down messages and messengers. Now Allah is referring to it again. La qadikanat ayat yudhila alaykum. All this, even on the day of Qiyamah. Some will try to prove anything, but nothing to prove on the day of Qiyamah. Nothing. Nobody will have any excuse against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody would have any excuse against Muhammad, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, we are the luckiest of all the women that have come. All the generation that have come from before Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his own woman, Wallah is the luckiest. Why? Because Allah gave us the best of all messengers. And on the day of Qiyamah, Allah will not attend to any one of other messengers until he attend to Muhammad, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he had promised, Anybody who did not die of shame, you will give him camera to Shahada and you try your best, inshallah, to you have to win that journey. But not a wolf. There are those who get their wolf. May Allah make you another way from among them. Those who get their wolf, go and read the first five, ten verses of Surah Tulum. It's a wolf. Not those who do Salat and Surah and Asu combined when they finish meeting. No. The realm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was a school machine. So go and read the first verse 10 up to 11 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they are the confirmed inhabitants, inheritors of identity for doubt. May Allah grant you a night the eligibility for you from among them. Now these people come to Allah Ta'ala to the Alaikum as we are reading the Quran today. It is in every language. Allah Akbar. I make mention of this everywhere I go. Nobody will have any excuse. You have Quran translated to Hausa. So if you can't read that of Arabic, you will read Arabic and get the translation in Hausa. There's one translated to Yoruba. No Yoruba will speak against Allah in the day of Qiyam. Even Igbo now, we have a brother who has translated Quran to Igbo language so that there won't be, have, there won't be anybody that will speak against Allah in the day of Qiyam. Now, I made mention of this also. Any news and granny you go of this world, you will see somebody that will preach in, inshallah, that is preaching towards oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that nobody will have any excuse. Because Yom al Qiyamah, there is no anything one can go back to one and do. For Allah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, all the verses were recited, you were there, you assimilated, you listened, you understood, the one you did not understand, you asked questions. It was a uh, clear or clarified for you. At the end of the day, come to Allah, I thought you couldn't to soon. But the Kufar, you still went back to your all normal things, old things. What are those old things? Let's take marriage, for instance. When Prophet came and he told them, when he got to Medina, he told them, all the, they are sorry that now some of them were having ten wives. 
ten wives, some eight, some nine, some as much as twelve wives, one person. And he embraced Islam. Prophet said, Now you embrace Islam. What do you do? You me kafa. Islam is not that I will do one in the morning and say, Look at the Allah. You are embracing Islam, you are forfeiting me. No, you are again. Now, Prophet Salah explained to them, You are having more than one, four wives, and Allah commanded that anything above four, you have to divorce them. You release, you release them, and then we we'll contract marriage for those who don't have wives. Prophet Salah said, Now, 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 Prophet they quitted that and the big four, they left others. Without any fight, no any fracas, no any discord. Because the women too were told this was the injunction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, during that time of Prophet Salam, yet the Kufar, even those who were having three, two, still under the Sharia, they went ahead and still married more. Married more. Some had up to 20 wives. 20 wives at home, 20 concubines are around. Still, 20 uh, enslaved women also, and they didn't see that as anything. The monk approached Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that is for you, not for us. You went back to your own style, to your own religion, to all your belief. And that's what I said, now that you are real, there is no any excuse for you. You brought to them, I am that the man who told you, now you will be known because, Khatam Allah wa ala kudubihim, wa ala samhihim, wa ala absorbing bishawa. There's nothing you do. Deliver the message, they are coming back to us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You turn everything down, you are now willing to do. Allah says, Mustad birina bi nisamira, the arrogant. Mustad birina bi him. You turn arrogance against our prophet. Then bi him. Imam Ibn Kathir said, this is referring to Quran. Another scholar, Still said this is referring to Al Kaaba Tisharifa. That is very to that thing. And at last referring to the God Samiran, Tanjurun. They were discussing Mustaq Mirinas B Samiran. They were discussing about this Kaaba, making just for praying Mamu Sallam at night. As the Fulla. That was the first concept of Majlisi. Majlisi Nero. The Kufar established it against Prophet Mamu Sallam. To chat about the Kaaba, that they took ownership of Kaaba. Whatsoever we'll be talking about, you should talk and then stay clear from the Kaaba. And Allah referred to that, that all these discussions, because of that, one of the Sahaba said, when this verse was revealed, at some point, Prophet Sallam thought that the Sahaba, they stopped any discussion after Salat al Isha, anything there, everyone goes back home. It left only the Kufar. Only the Kufar. And Allah said, this is. Mustaq Bilim, arrogance. The arrogant claim the ownership of Kaaba. And the arrogant rejected the message of Quran. The arrogant rejected the personality of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah said, ah, was it not the same person you had been living with before we gave message? You can see human being. Before he was pronounced a messenger, they embraced him. They saw him, as saw him with Muslim, and Amin with Mahmoud, that is trustworthy, trustworthy. They transacted with him, they respected him, they called him trustworthy person. But because he had not come with them to Shahada, they turned against him. So that means it is not his own personality that you are against. They are against, they are against the person. They don't want to hear anything about Allah, they don't want to hear anything about the Quran, as many people will do today too. As many people will do today. As we discuss, the same offer given to Prophet Salam, some will call it the same manner. See, especially politicians. If care is not taken, any manner that moves around with the politicians, before you know it, instead of him preaching to them, they will be the one preaching to him. But they will use every means, money, to buy him off. They will use every means to buy him off. If a madam and imam they shared should follow the politicians to beach. This is something, there are some acts there that he needed to speak against. But because they were there together, Suya, Zire, Badangu, Mont, this and that, and Naira. Then, today, tomorrow, next, they will go to another place. It happened, one more in our day. It happened. Somebody was saying, over oh, our last week, after Salat al Juma, I think last week, somebody like that, like that. At the end of the day, you don't want to say anything again, uh, I will not get together. 
Somebody came here and was saying me, what happened? From about G, let's give it to God, Allah Ta'ala Ala. If he has not taken, they will not give the money to see your mouth off. But in the case of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was not materialistic. He was not materialistic. Allah even banned him from collecting even zakah from his own, or zakah from his own. Only collected for the masses, the young children. That was the reason why, at some point in his household, for two, three days, nothing to cook, nothing to eat, date, water, palm oil, stuff from the water. Okay? Yet, he ever remain, and he shall ever remain the best of mankind. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In this case, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, they will be discussing at night, making things of Kaaba, at that house, they will claim it again. Because Prophet Allah was speaking about all the idols they were given inside the Kaaba. Before Allah sent that Prophet Allah, the Kaaba was hijacked. And they made it like a tourist center. People go there, they go and see the idols, Uban, Lata, Manata, and others. They were decorated inside the Kaaba, stuff from that. And then at night, with this, they will be discussing, it is our own heritage. Nobody will come to there and say, Allah sent him somewhere. Where was his grandfather? Where was this and that? Where we were keeping all the old uh, idols? Allah Ta'ala Allah. Allah SWT says, all these things are nothing but their own myths and purposes. They shall come back to Allah SWT. And when, he, when Allah sent them, they, they determine it is late already. Allah says, do you take under upon our message, the statement of Quran, the message Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam What they have little time to ponder, to read and digest, to try to understand the content. All you didn't think what had been brought to them was different from what was brought to their forefathers. Is there any, any, any difference? It's not, there's no any difference. There's no any difference in this. As we may mention, Allah said, We are saying all the prophets of Allah to tell all their people that I need to know how we shall be good. The same message in the Quran, in Torah, in the Injil, in Zabon, Surah Ibrahim, Surah Musa, Sahar, every message Allah sent out is I need to know how we shall be good. Allah said, How are we at the bottom of the world? I'm down, man, I'm here to have a I didn't see anything strange in the Quran. I didn't see anything strange in what Prophet is telling them. They should go and compare the notes between Quran and Zabur, between Quran and Taurat. They will ever see there that everything there is talking about oneness of Allah. They all did not call themselves a prophet in Zabur. Neither did Musa alayhi salam call himself a prophet in Taurat. Nor will, uh, did uh, Isa alayhi salam call himself anything beyond prophet. You know, nobody called them themselves Allah SWT. Now it's the same message. One day found out upon it. Allah SWT used this fact to challenge the Kufar because they did not even listen. In the case of Nuh alayhi salam, for instance, Kulla ma da'am to me. Little Kura Rabbu, Ja'adu Asabiyan. From the beginning, he did da'am to call me, Leilan, wa nahara, falam yazinu du'ai, illa firara. They did not even listen, talkless or trying to ponder or to juxtapose what the messenger has brought to them be and with the one that has been brought before that. When you look at the Quran, Allah SWT summarizes everything. That is why you have in Surah Al-Ada, in the Hada, like this Sukhuf This same message is in the first scripture. It is not new. Sukhuf Ibrahim or Musa. In fact, it was in the Sukhuf of Ibrahim, you have to get the Quran, Ibrahim and Islam. Well, Musa, you want to give a prayer, Musa, this and that, what you are reading in the Quran is there. It's only that Allah SWT modified in a way and manner that Allah SWT made everything easier for the home of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's nothing different. Allah SWT says, Am lam ya'rifu rasulah. Am lam ya'rifu rasulah. Or today, they don't recognize the Prophet Muhammad again. 
to the extent that they are now showing enmity and hatred against him. I'm laughing at the full of Sunan. Was it not the same person that they used to call Amin, Amin, and Amin, even before Allah sent him as a messenger? All people who keep money with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, youth of his age, they will keep their property with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. At every point in time, anybody needed the own property, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would give it back the way it was given. And for that reason, they showed massive love for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Massive love for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But then, he was not the prophet. Now, because he had come back to tell you that Allah has given you a message for you, that is why you now rejected him, you mocked him, you called him a Jew, you do all sorts of nonsense against Rasulullah. So Allah said, I'm not here in front of Rasulullah. Don't you know him again? The same Allah said, you must do. Allah me with Mahmoud. The same him today. He's not the one you are now running away from. Someone you used to keep your property with. Someone you used to give an errand. You send him an errand that it's only Muhammad that if you give him something, he will deliver the message and come and tell you back. Unlike your own biological children, now because Allah has elevated him and Allah sends him a message to you, you now turn him down, you mock him, you make guests of him, but Munjuru, you even show hatred against him. I'm now, Allah SWT has had your Guru This is a very big honor from Allah SWT. 
May Allah never take you in. That's honor from all of us. And may Allah make it something that will witness for us going to Angela to from the house. Subhanallah, Muhammad, Asher and Allah, 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 Anta, as them took our children in it. Subhanallah, Rabbi, 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 can he still listen? Can he listen to music in one of Ramadan and his fasting is still valid? Is that here is the question? Some the either Ramadan or non Ramadan, either Ramadan or non Ramadan, music is haram in Islam, especially the one with musical instrument, guitar, piano, all these things haram in Islam. But sometimes we try to hide under it and so a lot of Islamic music. There's not any Islamic music. Islam only recognizes rhymes and a shit. Then you can do small small like a calabash, you beat that is beef. similar to that only when someone is getting married. And it is restricted among the women. No single man is invited in that uh, cycle among themselves. They can dance where there is no any haram. There is nobody, a man, a stranger, alone among themselves. They can be in a hall while they are secluded. That is not haram. But any music that people, especially today, in fact, I need to approach the same person as part of his mission in this world that Allah has sent me to come and destroy all the musical instruments. It's part of the mission of the Prophet to come and destroy all the musical instruments because anywhere there is music going on, Wallah, Shaitan is the chairman. Shaitan is the chairman. Now Shaitan is being hard beat, tied down. Why do the Muslims be listening to it and still be asking? Now maybe he can do that too. When we say read Quran, there's no how a Muslim can differentiate or segregate between Al Quran and Ramadan. Shall Ramadan and Levi, who is in a few in Quran? And we said to ourselves, when Sosama used to do Mudar, I we tend to be like Salam. In the month of Ramadan, another hadith said every night the people will visit Brother Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In another hadith, authentic, the year Prophet Sosalam passed on and transited from this dunya. Jibreel came twice. Now, what business does a Muslim have in listening to music? Now, people go as far as listening to the music that they don't, they don't even understand the language. You say rapper, the rapper, eh? Perry? <laughs> you shoot the head down. Umba, yes, I like that Umba. G, 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 G. Was sure I wrong? Yet they won't go in the room. I don't tell us no two people who are here. Why not be a woman of my life? And I said, even you are saying, when you see musicians, and that's why that's them, look at them very well, with keen interest. Was sure around all the musicians, look at them. Yet they will go to their own. And normally, in their life, the way they dress, something dreaded. Earring. A man, earring. Nika. And then sagging. Yet, some, they even plant their hair like women. And he's wearing jeans. The jeans here, yeah, they chop it off. Like mad person. And people now come. He said, Salam ala nabi al People will be passing by. They are going. They are going to that one. Eh? 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 Say it loudly. Eh? 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 Of those days. That's the problem. So, see, here is chop off. Here is chop off. We wear tight, very tight. All these muscles and the contours are revealed. Then he tells the macaroon, choo 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 choo. Some are already dancing. Our fans, that's the problem. That's the problem. And I says, I don't have no people who are here anymore. Don't you see them? If you go in the world, anywhere they are, they are assembled. Yet in the room, they misbehave. They misbehave. Yet in the room, they are not orderly. This one is just that the G, G. More than 100 people, they are doing like this. And 
and uh, they are doing selfie. Whereas they don't need to sell you. Allah said it. Like them, like that, we to be up. We actually have the angels that are taking record of that. Your own record may be corrupted. The things the first in flash drive may be lost. But that of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the kitab will have you. The kitab will have you. It's not the kitab will have you. Why not your kuruna? Why not your family? Allah said they will be saying what they don't do. A misusa will just be saying something. Wallah in the name. One, someone was talking about it. They are in the name of the Don't you dare put my name, to my name, to my name, to my name. And people are sitting like that. As if, ah. Nah, I'm ready. 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 The delay. There's no one. We are not going to have forgive for that short comment. We are not going to have grant us and elevate them, always elevate them in mind. No. Why are you saying to me? No, I know you are. Say it. 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 Yes, sir. Someone is playing this aside. So, can you particularly uh, who's very intelligent people? Salam Allah, Salam Allah. With a very, very intelligent question. Now, this is Prophet Salam. When he said that the Prophet came to him and asked him to say Amin three times, one of the reasons for Amin was that the angel the Prophet said, anybody, anywhere, your name is mentioned, and someone refuses to say some of what I send them, then we are not take that person away from Rahman and to hell. We are not take us away from Rahman. Some of what I send them. Anyway, the name of Prophet Sena is mentioned. Don't be too busy. Say some of what I send them. Now, this one now is a musician and is a Muslim, like the white liquid. And you say you read Quran. If you say something like that, you are you say one day, you will read Quran. In fact, I saw one video. He was calling prayer and with good voice. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Which is, look at this guy. I don't know. So now he's now saying, he's doing his jiji 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 jiji. Guys, boy, you are doing jiji jiji. And now say, Muhammad, you are so good. You must say, say Allah. You must. Even if he's saying, they are not. For the fact that, that can be you are less concerned. But I did mean he knows the qualities and excellence, the Shamayi Rasul he himself would have said it and run away from that wadi. But you know, and the same name you had, actually it was the name of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You have to say something about yourself. I do that even when I'm riding on, I mean somebody is playing something, you just hear, Muhammad Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even on TV. I was just allowed to say that. But they actually also in fact cross the center. So you might not address me in a proper way, but you that you know, maybe you also allow to say that my life may take me to because he was the source of you saying to Allah and Allah may also forgive us in short comments. May Allah forgive you in short comments. In the Hadi, the Pure, Common Shah, the Lord, 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 as we have seen the beginning of Ramadan, may Allah allow us to see the end of Ramadan in tranquility, more rahmah, more blessings, more wealth, good halal, inshallah, to you, in a adjunct of the house. Subhanallah, Muhammad, Bashar, and Allah, Allah, and Allah, and Allah, and Allah, and Allah, and Allah, and Allah, Subhanahu wa bika, and Allah, 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 and Allah,